All right, watching Hurricane Milton as it just balloons into a monster of a storm. Tim Panday just joining us now with um, the latest on that. Yeah, Janet and Dan, a powerhouse storm, 180 mile per hour winds, category five storm at this hour in the southern Gulf of Mexico. As we do a loop here of the last 12 hours, I want to draw your attention to the center of Milton. Uh, the eye and notice how it starts and kind of closing in on itself as we get to, to the most recent frame. We have a pinhole eye is what we call it. I think we are on the cusp of seeing something called an eye wall replacement cycle here and essentially the eye wall closes in and collapses on itself. What happens during this period of time is we see a plateau or even brief weakening of the system overall, but then a larger eye develops and we actually see a burst in intensification. So we'll see if that plays out here. Still overall, the environmental conditions are very, very favorable for more intensification. As the wind speeds have gone up, we're at now at 180 mile per hour winds. The central pressure has come down. Yesterday evening, we were at 983 millibars. Now we are at 905 and this actually makes it one of the most intense storms in the Gulf of Mexico since the satellite era. Here we are at number five. Look at the company it's with Rita, Allen, Camille and Katrina all having slightly lower pressures. But again, we're not done probably deepening. So we might see this drop and climb the list as we go through the next 24 hours. Expected to maintain cap five status all the way up through Wednesday morning before a landfall Wednesday night into early Thursday. Not as strong as a cat five, but still likely a high end cat three, low end cat four and encounter some wind shear and dry air, which should take some of the wind speed down, but overall still a very impactful storm.